Hi, my name is Bianca, and welcome to my ABLE Blueprint. 22nd September 2015 was a day that I will always remember. The day when I suddenly lost my hearing in my right ear completely on the flight down from South Africa. Six months were nightmare of hospitals, vertical episodes, not being able to work, feeling isolated and alone, and missing the activities I once enjoyed. My dreams suddenly seemed so far away and out of reach. I lost my confidence completely. I had almost given up hope. I had shut myself away, away from a world which I didn't understand anymore. I felt isolated and alone in a changed body and a changed world in my head. The turning point came when on a whim of spring cleaning I decided to give away all my music CDs. It was then I decided only I could help myself and also agree to receive help from those who wanted to offer it to me. I decided to fight back. I had absolutely nothing to lose. The first step I took was to design my ABLE blueprint, my life, the way it would be and the way I wanted it to be, with all my faculties and limited hearing. An ABLE blueprint to me describes myself exactly how I would want to be in my current situations, with my current condition, with no hearing, and being able to live life fully and exceptionally. When I set out to design my blueprint, I wanted to make sure that it would still enable me to participate fully in community, live a fuller life, and have better relationships with the people that cared about me. Why is this so important to me? My life will only happen once, and it's not only about me. It's about you and me. It is also about my lifelong commitment to helping others. Remember, this blueprint is about you, about what you can do, what you can give, and who you can be. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to anchor your blueprint in something bigger than just yourself and your desires on its own. This is purposeful intention. Mine was God. The second step was to involve my entire support system, my family, friends, my partner, my dog, medical support staff, Every person had a different role in my new plan, my new life design. It was important to me to make them aware of how they could help me and what I needed to reassert myself and use the crucial moments to fight standing up or on my knees. The third step is to be creative and explore new angles of putting yourself out there. With a condition like mine, I had to decide how I was going to put myself out there 100% and I decided storytelling was going to be the way. So if you're listening to this or watching this right now, please don't give up. You have a lot going for you. And coming from my own experience, I know that all things are possible. Your able blueprint is in your hands.